I've dimmed the lights for this segment, and it's not that kind of segment. We're talking about peaceful, <laughs> relaxing mind. Yes, when your mind is relaxed, anything is possible. But when your mind is not relaxed, it almost seems impossible, especially in this increasingly connected world that we live in. Technology, you know, has accelerated the pace of our lives. And as a result, our brains are so wired to do so many things and multitask. But that's not necessarily a good thing, especially not in your home life, not in your workplace. Psychologist Dr. Michael Woodward is here and meditation guide Pandit Dasa are also here with steps that are being taken to ease your mind. So nice to have you here. Yeah, okay. So, you know what, here. we've heard all of this stuff about uh, mindfulness and it seems so buzzy. Explain what that is, first of all. Yeah, I mean, Pandit, you could talk about yeah. what so, it is. Basically, mindfulness means to become aware of your thoughts and emotions and come into the present moment because most of the time we're not in the present moment. We're either planning the future or we're stuck in the past. Yeah. So mindfulness really helps us declutter our mind so that we can be a little bit uh, more stress-free and a little bit less anxiety. Uh huh. You know, it's kind of like closing all the apps on your phones because that slows your phone down. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of apps running in the back of our mind and a lot of them aren't necessary. So mindfulness helps us close those apps so we can focus more on the present moment. All right, calm the body, decrease stress, reduce anxiety, integrate emotions, relieve chronic pain. And people don't understand, all of this comes from us not being mindful. It is a new phenomena. It isn't new, but it's new these days because it's now come into the workplace. Talk yeah. about how that's the new phenomena. Yeah, I think, you know, as Pundit says, look, it's a 3,000 year old practice, but I think why it's coming into popularity right now is two things, simplicity and science. So. In the U.S., certainly in corporate America, we like evidence to, to back up the things that we do. Mm -hmm. So the number of uh, academic studies that have been looking into the mindfulness phenomena have nearly doubled in the last three years. Mm -hmm. Then on top of that, we have folks like Pundit talking about ways to simplify the practice of mindfulness. And so, then you got places like Google's, yeah. General Mills offering regular meditation training, med meditation and mindful. Uh, you know, estimates it a billion dollar industry. Wow, since 2015, and now we're in 2017, so you can imagine how those numbers have increased. Yep. So, Pundit, my question to you is if people are watching right now, I mean, they're going into their work day, yes. what can they do right now to set themselves for a day that's fulfilled and not empty? Okay. Start off by putting your phone away, <laughs> sit down in a peaceful, quiet place for five minutes, that's all you need and start to take deep breaths. And when you're taking these deep breaths, just focus on the breath. Try not to plan anything and try not to think about the past. Just focus on the breath, filling your lungs, and then a deep exhalation because the deep breathing in itself has a real powerful way of resetting the mind, relaxing the body, relaxing the nerves. It can also be used before you go into like a stressful meeting or something, a stressful, potentially a stressful encounter. Yeah. Just take a few deep breaths. But you know what? Everybody's mind wanders these days. You know what yeah. I mean? People can't sit still for two mm -hmm. seconds. So what do you do when your mind wanders? How do you come back to center? Uh, well, just come right back without getting upset that, oh, my mind wandered because the wandering mind is like a two-year-old child. It's going to keep wandering. Right. Just keep bringing it back. And every time we bring the mind back, that's strengthening our mind. It's like it's, it's a muscle. So yeah. the more push-ups you do, the more you can do. So the more you practice bringing it back, the stronger it becomes. Why do you think this is better in creating a work environment, not only an employee that's happy with their life, but an employee that's fulfilled ultimately is going to give you more? Am I correct that, about that? that? Yes, absolutely. Look. Stress causes us to negative spiral in our minds. And as a psychologist, I can tell you, when you start to negative self-talk, you start to, to catastrophize things around you, you need to just stop and take a break. And that's what mindfulness is. Being present, first of all, knowing what is going on in my head. Pay attention to it. Stop. Just take some breaths. Breathe. Clear your head. Just like you reboot your computer, you got to just stop and do that. Yeah. And when you're focused and present, you're aware of triggers things that may stress you and uh, things that about colleagues that may cause you stress. Yeah, and that's the bottom line. Uh, it's only as bad as it is in the mind, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Nothing is ever as bad as it seems. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you very Since much. We create our own delusions, <laughs> our own illusions, and we need to get out of our head.